So I wanted to give a little bit more clarification on how refraction works in Arnold. Uh, as you can see, I have a, c a scene here which has two objects. Both of them have the exact same standard surface material. So for this one here, I am going to apply, let's say, I'm going to apply a different material for this. So I'm going to go ahead and go new material, shader on under Arnold, standard surface, and that creates a, a standard surface 3. So I'm going to call that mat 3 so that I know which one it is. Again, I ask you to name your materials as soon as you create them. So I actually renamed it mat 1, sorry, mat 3, sorry, boom, there you go. And this one I will call mat 2. Okay, so I'm going to select the surface, boom, mat underscore 2, boom, there you go. So mat 2, both of them are uh, AI standard surface materials, okay? So in this one, I'm just simply going to change the color. I'm going to make it say, um, let's say I want to activate that. I want to make it, uh, let's see what color do I want to make it, this blue, for example. So let's apply that blue to that object. And I want to increase the actual value of it a little bit, the weight of that. So uh, let's work with that. And actually, I'm sorry, I am applying it to the transmission. So I apologize for that. Let me undo that a couple of times so that I come back here and go ahead and change the color, the weight color of this to the blue. And I can see it as solid and I'm going to increase the weight to 100% so that I can make it completely diffused. Now, uh, let's go ahead and select this object here. And with that object selected, I'm going to make it a different color, a completely different color. I'm going to make it red. Okay. And so what I want to do at this point is I want to go ahead and create rendering values for this and look at the, uh, the anistro anistro not the anistropy, sorry, the refraction value of this object. So remember, under the specular, you have the IOR, which determines the value of refractivity of that object. Let me switch my view, my, um, my viewport to this. Let me turn off the grid so that it's not on the way. And let's go ahead and start playing with that. Um, refraction value of this. So if I go ahead and say, okay, I want to go ahead and start making this, working with these values, I can go ahead and say, I want to have a, uh, a different value for, say, the weight of this object. So I increase the color or the value of the actual diffuse value, the metalness to make it shinier or not. And I can go ahead and change the IOR then it's dropping all that information here. I can also change the transmission weight. So if I go ahead and increase this value here, you will notice that my object starts refracting across the glass. Now it looks a little rough as you can see, and that's because I have some roughness over here. So I can bring that down to make it as sharp as possible. If it still looks a little bit fuzzy like it does right now, it's because the object itself is uh, rendering at a lower quality. And I'm doing this so that my rendering happens a little faster. As you can see, this is still rendering even though I made the change. So it takes about five seconds for that to render. That means that the Arnold rendering engine might take a little longer to render, but the results are almost photorealistic. So with that done, let's go ahead and say, well, I, I see the refraction, the refraction being how this material bends the light of bouncing of the cone and seeing reflected on the curvature of the inside of that sphere but I don't see the cone through it, and I should see something here. So for that, you would have to affect that opacity of the object. So let's go back un under the Material 2 and select Geometry, the Geometry tab, and under Geometry, I have the Opacity value. So when I start bringing this down, watch what happens on the screen. It sort of becomes semi-transparent, and it still refracts. Now, if yours is not doing this, which is the reason why I made this video, go to your P shape sphere and under the Arnold tab, make sure that you deselect opaque. If you have opaque selected, what's going to happen is that it, that's not going to work at the beginning. So as, so as soon as you unclick that, then the object will become transparent and the Arnold standard surface material will start controlling your opacity from this. So make sure that you turn off opaque so that you actually can see through the object when you have that option. When you, If you're seeing this as a solid thing and you're not seeing through to the, the other object, if that's your intent. If your intent is to keep it just simply refracting like any material, like a big chunk of glass, for example, then you don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is just keep it on if you want to. And that will, that will actually reduce the amount of rendering time for you slightly. So that works in your favor. Okay, so make sure that that is how you control the refractivity and how you bend the light across 
the different materials.